Joanne Banco, author and online educator at Let's Go Sew. Sewing silkies can be a challenge. I'm hoping to share some tips with you that's going to help you conquer that and find a better way to sew your silky fabrics. Silky fabric, what is it? It's anything that's slippery. It could be silk. It could be synthetic. But you know, it's kind of the fabric that moves and wiggles around when you're trying to, trying to sew with it. So let me give you a few tips right here at the table, and then we'll move over to the sewing machine in a minute. But Tissue paper, that is one of the best tips I have ever learned for cutting out your fabric. So instead of just pinning you know, your fabric to your pattern layer, pin all the way through another layer of tissue paper, and when you cut through that, you'll have, see, a lot less wiggling. Use uh, fine sharp pins. I like these flat um, style pins. They're very fine and very sharp. Or glass head pins, they work really well too. Test your inner facings. Silky fabrics just, you know, they don't have a lot of, um, a lot of you know, weight to the actual fabric, so you want to be very careful to use inner facing that is not going to show through poorly to the right side, and you also want to make sure that that inner facing sticks really well. So I like to cut little, little swatches, about six inches square, and fuse it to scrap uh, fabric, and then I go ahead and launder it the way I would normally launder the finished garment to see how it ends up on the outside. You'll find a variety of lightweight types and select that and, and see how it goes. Make sure your decision from there. What in the world do I have a piece of gray felt here for? Well, you know, when you are working with silky fabric, again, there's times when you're going to be pinning pieces, you're going to be, you know, working and dealing with those pieces to, during the construction. I find that a slippery table surface can help, again, you know, be slippery there. So I like to work on a felt surface and just gives me a little bit more grip. Let's hang over to the machine here and take a look at what I'm doing with this um, straight stitch foot. I've got the regular foot off. I'm going to put the straight stitch foot on. And I've got a few seams already stitched here. Just to give you an idea, you can do a French seam. That is great for silky fabrics. We don't want a ridge to show through on the right side. So that's why I might not use a serger or a heavy overcasting stitch. I want something light. I can also do a hairline seam, and I can also do a bound seam with, with that. But a straight stitch works really nice with the um, special plate and special foot, because when we select that straight stitch then, it's gonna make sure and not um, pull that fabric through the hole, and it's gonna give us a really nice, smooth seam. There you go. There's some tips for you for sewing with silkies.